Right now, Sima Shi's so pissed off, he can't stand to look at Zugadon and Sima Shao. Welcome to part 7 of the Jin playthrough. And after that train wreck of a last mission, I can't blame him. I mean, come on, the two just didn't see eye to eye. And because they didn't see eye to eye, the both of them had to be saved by Wang Yu and Ji. Which was a very disheartening experience. I promise to win back your trust in the next battle. I mean, I know she's got the TNA factor and all, but Certain keep in, keep a few things in mind. It's, time it's to just that she needs to have master in order well, to be able to use other weapons, all. and even then, she can't use heavy weapons. So that Zuga pretty much defeats the purpose. Anyway. Now for the situation at hand. It We're about to be invaded by Wu because Sima Shi and Oh Sima Xiao, sorry, and Sugadon pretty much brought the enemy at our front doorstep. We've gotta eliminate them quickly. So basically speaking They're gonna be pointing fingers at each other while Sima Shi's back is turned, basically. However, now everybody is united beneath Lord Sumashar. I am confident This is going to be a very pleasant battle. Much more pleasant than the last. For not keeping her charge in line. It's not her fault. Some people just can't be controlled. Uh, not that I mean anything by that, my lord. Man, he almost got bitch smacked. That would have been the funniest thing to see right now. Wu lost. Their emotional leader and Sun Quan. However, it does not seem to have affected their sense of unity much. Yeah, as they were Lord so Jin desperate and trying to kick our ass, they all ganged up on us in that last episode. Oh man, that was a bummer. And when UNG had to fight them all off just to save those two. A strategist, no doubt. I mean, Wei kind of looks down on the Suma family. For your brother, my lord. Lady Yuanji didn't insult him or anything. There's nothing worse than the silent treatment. The cold shoulder. Well, <laughs> that's nice. Let's see. That's only one more here, so we can get started afterwards. Did you know he had a longer life than both Cao Cao and Cao Pi? Both of which died of illness, by the way. No, wait, one died of suicide. No, I think one died of illness, the other one died of suicide. Jugada, Zhao, I am not here to place blame on either of you. Yeah, you are. I cannot forgive you losing to the same opponent twice. You are both to come and serve under me. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Go out there and redeem yourselves in this battle. Yes, brother. Understood. I will not let you down. All right, here we go. Go out there and show me you can handle the responsibility. We're gonna be fighting in one of the fun battles now. the intruders from the castle. Drive them back and move to the offensive. Simply put, you don't have to worry about people dying. Even though Sima Shan, I mean Sima Shao, sorry. Hold on, keep saying Sima Shan. Sima Shao is the person of interest in this battle. Like before. Difference is, everybody's gonna be gunning for Koei? Seriously, Koei? You're gonna do that now. So you are my next opponent. Anyway, most of the enemy officers is just gonna come gunning after you anyway. So, you're just gonna have to cut through them, because they're gonna have to go through you and your outside forces in order to get to see Michelle. He's basically gonna stay within the castle. Uh oh. She is really pissed right now. And when Sima she is pissed, people die. That's just the whole entire remedy. An angry Sima Sure means people are going to die horrible, horrible deaths. Spread out to the west. Oh, and this is the fun part. Cause now 
I get to use one of my favorite weapons to use against the enemy. That was close. Thank you for aiding us. Now it's time for me to use Fopalista. See, when I use it, it's awesome. It's cool. If anyone else uses it, ah, worst weapon ever. We have to blunt the enemy's momentum. I know that's kind of a messed up way of thinking, but hey, it's only fair. And look, the Juggernaut's already here. I hope to eventually come even just a step closer to Well, let me beat you guys over to that uh, ballista before you guys take it over. They're not gonna take it over, they're just gonna stand there and fight all the officers there. Lord Sumashiro's eye for strategy is magnificent. It's hard to believe he and Lord Sumashiro are brothers. See, he's still saying Snyder marks behind Sumashiro's back! But he does have a point. And that was awesome, I gunned down just about every last person there. Well, next we're gonna go into another section. In this part, well, I'll have to go around, because there's no other way around there. But, when we get to that green section, we're gonna be manning cannons, well, flamethrowers, basically. God damn it! Let me jump over! My lord, the weapon you requested is ready. Ah, cool! Even though these things are slow, they pack a wallop. Basically, you're gonna be using these cannon. Well, you were supposed to be using these carrying cannons. Uh, sorry. In order to stop the wave forces from setting foot into the castle, or have them, or just use them to kill off the officers there. Leon Shi will be adding, will be leading this battalion actually, so you might want to kill her too. I'm pretty sure she's around here somewhere. Up oh, there she is. Which kind of throws me off here. No wait, Leon Shi's still alive around that point. And see, ladies and gentlemen, do you see? Her Musa was so weak, I didn't have to counter it. The, main force of the, enemy the whole point of that Musa is basically for white mage magic. Anywho, send word to the Western Union. Break down the main body of the enemy army from the flank. Sima Shao, um, I mean, Sima Shao pretty much told Sima Shan, it's time to kick ass and take names. And Sima, Sh I mean, Sima Shi, not Sima Shan, Sima Shi, there's no Sima Shan. Anyway, Sima Shi, it's time to kick ass and take names. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. The officers of Wu are but mindless drones. All forces, now is our chance to strike. Uh oh. They're all screwed. It's over. See how short this one is? We're almost at the enemy commander. Anyway. As I said before, they're all going to be gunning for you. And no matter what difficulty it is, you can use this opportunity to increase your strength by picking up all the drops that you have. Well, that you, they leave on the ground. And you can also rack up on skill points if you haven't done so already. By the time you get here, you'll have a complete skill list. Well, all your skills completed, sorry. Anyway, Zugeka is the person of interest to kill in this one. So it's best to kill off everyone that can actually come to reinforce him. The less people you have to worry about, the easier Zugaka will be. I feel that one officer in chaos mode, even though I am playing this on easy mode, one officer in chaos mode is better than dealing with a whole slew of army. Men. Or soldiers.
soldiers. I've done the same thing, but it didn't come out right. Anyway, time to bust out some nunchuck action. Just because I can. I got that one, and I got that one. Awesome! This is all you have. Brother, I... Uh, sorry about that. Tell me, Zhao. What does it mean to you? To hold high rank. What? Uh, well, actually, it means nothing. Then discard it. That will be the punishment for your failure. I will punish the Suma and let Yuga Darnoff scot free. And this integrity will prove invaluable in building my machine. Brother, you... Father told me to use power as I see fit. I intend to aim for the target. The efforts of Sumashur at Hefei would sweep away the failure of his family's previous attacks on Wu. Further, Sumashur placed all of the blame for their defeat at Dongxing at the hands of his brother Suma Zhao. These actions won him the loyalty of many influential officers. As a result, the fame and influence of Sumashur managed to surpass that of even his legendary father. Wei belonged to Suma Shur now, and its emperor was nothing more than a figurehead. It was then that Zhang Wei led Shu to rise up once again and strike at Wei. For in the eyes of Zhang Wei, Wei was still a villainous entity that stood in the way of a world of virtue. Ambition. Virtue. Shu fought for ideals rather than the tangible. To Suma Shur and his quest to reach the pinnacle of power, there could be nothing more disdainful. Suma Shur dispatched Suma Zhao, Guo Huai, Deng Ai, and several of his best troops to Tian Shui. The hammer of the new conqueror was about to come crashing down on the pathetic Shu forces. Lord Deng Ai, I just wanted to say... <coughs> you cannot fight in this state. Lord Xiao Yuan did a lot for me in the past. But when he was killed, I was unable to repay that debt. So I have to keep Wei safe. It was the only thing he wanted. <coughs> person to the deathly ill it's Guo high in part eight this is rv man 985 see you guys next time